guys what's going on welcome back to my channel and if you're new here then welcome to my channel where i show you how you can learn to bake indulgent desserts and sweet treats that are absolutely unique and creative if this is something that you enjoy then don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so you get notified every time i post a new video in today's video i am so excited because we are going to be making salted caramel cashew shortbread cookies i know it sounds like a mouthful but believe me when i say it is super easy to put together let's get straight into this recipe because i cannot wait to share this with you so the very first thing that you're going to do is add your softened salted butter so this butter is at room temperature basically and i've used salted butter but if you want to you could also use unsalted butter and then later on add a pinch of salt i personally love the flavor of salted butter and then what you're going to do is you're going to set a timer on your phone for 3 minutes and on a medium speed you're going to whip this butter till it goes nice and pale and fluffy So it's been 3 minutes now and the butter is looking super pale and fluffy. We're going to proceed with the next step that is adding our icing sugar. We're going to add our icing sugar in and then into that we are also going to add our toasted milk powder. Now there is an entire video where I have showed you how to make this toasted milk powder. It is so easy and it just completely transforms the flavor profile of milk powder adds more butterscotchy sort of brown butter caramel notes to it you could add just plain simple milk powder it actually tastes incredible so i'm going to add that in now before you start whipping this you are going to take your spatula and first mix the icing sugar with the butter otherwise it's going to fly all over the place and you don't want that And now again for the next 3 minutes we're going to whip this on a medium speed and this time it will go super pale fluffy and it will also increase tremendously in volume as well. So let's mix this for another 3 minutes on medium speed. About half way through the mixing process You'll see that there are a few stray bits there that aren't mixing with the rest of the batter. So you're going to take your spatula and scrape the sides and the bottom of the bowl so that everything is well combined. Before we proceed with the next step, we now have to chop our candied cashews. So I'm just going to place them over here. I'm going to chop this roughly because I want to find them in the shortbread cookies in practically every bite so there should be this caramelly crunch from these candied cashews so i'm just going to roughly chop them now into this mix i'm going to add my all purpose flour now i have weighed this out and then sifted it so this is sifted all purpose flour you can also just directly sift it into the bowl but i have already sifted this earlier so i'm going to just chuck this in Now as we did earlier we're going to do the same thing before we start the electric mixer we are just going to use our spatula and sort of fold the all purpose flour in now you don't want to knock the air out that we just created so be very gentle and just fold it in and don't just mix it in any direction and now when you begin to mix this for maybe just like 10 seconds until everything just starts to come together you don't want to overwork the dough at this point because you want your shortbread cookies to be well short and flaky so on speed 1 you're just going to mix this until it starts to resemble a crumbly mixture as you can see this looks perfect now to bring this dough together we're going to use some super cold milk make sure it's chilled and from the refrigerator you're going to add that again um all the ingredients and the quantities they've been mentioned down in the description box below so don't forget to check that out so what you're going to do now is on your lowest speed setting you're going to just mix this for like 10 seconds until it starts to just come together you do not want to overwork this dough you're going to finish this by hand now into this i'm going to add the chopped candied um uh, cashews that we chopped just some time ago and now we're going to finish this by hand we're going to bring this together into a dough so make sure with clean hands you're bringing this dough together and you're only just bringing it together until 
it comes together into a ball you do not want to knead the dough you don't want to do anything that will develop the gluten the dough has come together now so what we're going to do is we're going to lay it out on our parchment paper and i'll show you the next steps so now finally it's time to shape this dough now normally what happens is you roll this between two sheets of parchment paper and then cut out shapes but the one that we're making today is more like a slice and bake sort of a cookie it's so much easier actually so you're just going to take your parchment paper and roll it out and all you're going to do now is you're going to dump this dough onto the parchment paper in the center and then you're going to try to give it the shape of a log you're going to roll it into a log now don't worry if it's not perfect we're going to use the parchment paper to manipulate the shape of that dough as well so let's get straight into that once you're happy with the length of the thickness of the log you're just going to start wrapping it up like a piece of chocolate so i'm just going to shift that a little bit to my so and this will now go in the refrigerator for at least 30 minutes because you really want this cookie dough to sort of really rest and it develops in flavors the butter hardens and it just kind of gives a very flaky very short texture to our shortbread cookies and we're going to pop this for a minimum of 30 minutes i would also recommend that you make this cookie dough on the night before and let the dough rest in the refrigerator overnight because the more that you rest this dough the better the flavors will develop and also the texture will be very nice and short so cookie dough has been resting in the refrigerator for like 30 minutes and we are ready to now slice and bake these salted caramel cashew shortbread cookies now the best part about making this cookie is that you don't have to slice all of them in one go if you only want say four cookies you could just make four slices and then bake those cookies and pop the rest of the cookie dough back in the refrigerator it stays really well in the fridge for up to a week and you could also freeze this for nearly a month so it's really nice to make this cookie dough once and then enjoy these cookies whenever you feel like baking and you can have them fresh straight from the oven that is the best part about making these shortbread cookies Once you've sliced all the shortbread cookies that you need you're going to start placing them on a baking tray that's been lined with parchment paper Now you can pop these shortbread cookies in the oven but if you know me by now you'll know that I love adding sea salt in practically everything so I'm just going to add a tiny um sprinkle of sea salt on all of the cookies before they go in the oven our candied cashew shortbread cookies are now ready to go in the oven at 170 degrees celsius for roughly 12 to 15 minutes what you're going to do is you're going to pop this in the oven for the first 6 minutes then you're going to take it out of the oven and then you're going to turn the tray around so that they bake evenly and then you're going to take it out of the oven so about 12 to 15 minutes and halfway through the baking process you're going to turn the tray around so let's pop these in the oven Our shortbread cookies are now out of the oven and they smell so good. You can see how they haven't taken on a lot of color but the edges have gone slightly golden brown. You know that they are ready. It took me 15 minutes 1/5. 15 minutes at 170 degrees Celsius. So I turned them around halfway through. That's very important. Now you do not want to touch these cookies right now. You want to let them cool down for at least 10 minutes. and then you're going to transfer them onto a wire rack so that they cool down completely our shortbread cookies have cooled down completely and they look really really nice i'm just going to break into one so you can see what it looks like on the inside This was my recipe for the salted candied cashew shortbread cookies. They are so indulgent. I can smell how amazing it's so buttery and I really cannot wait to dive right in. So let's give it a quick taste. It tastes incredible. It's super buttery. 
and the sweetness has just the right balance and you get those candied cashews in practically every bite and it's super crunchy i really really hope that you give this recipe a go it is super easy to put together if you enjoy this video please give it a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so you're notified every time i post a new video i'll see you again in another video until then goodbye and happy baking